Have you ever wondered how luxury cars reach customers across the globe from the factory? New vehicles are transported to the shipping port via railway wagons or specialized trucks with racks and carried to the destination port in shipping containers or roll-on roll-off ships, also known as the Roro ships. A train with 70 auto racks can carry over 800 vehicles. On average, a rail journey for a new car is about 1300 miles. Two-deck auto racks usually carry trucks and large SUVs, while three-deck auto racks accommodate sedans and smaller vehicles. Once they arrive at the shipping port, they are parked as per their loading destinations. Those cars which are yet to be launched are camouflaged. A team of drivers wait at the terminal for the ship's arrival. With keys already in the vehicle, the driver brings the vehicle on board or off board. Roro ships have built-in ramps on their bow or stern to make loading and unloading the wheeled cargo much easier than done with a crane. These ships can carry wheeled cargo, be it cars, trucks, buses, trailers or even industrial vehicles. The biggest Roro ship can carry 8,000 luxury cars in cargo holds that look like a massive garage. An average size Roro ship is designed to transport between 4,000 to 5,000 vehicles. Loading and unloading a car poses a particular challenge, as each vehicle has to be loaded and secured individually. Once all cars are loaded and secured, the respective car company inspector checks the vehicles for any kind of damages. A Roro doesn't need to rely on cranes. Instead, the ship's vehicles are loaded and unloaded using built-in ramps. Vessels that use crane to load the wheeled cargo are known as lift-on, lift-off ships or Loro ships. Even ferries are kind of Roro vessels that can operate across rivers and short distances through the sea. The different types of Roro ships are Conro. This vessel is a hybrid of Roro and a container ship. LMSR, Large Medium Speed Roll-On Roll-Off, Rolo, Roll-On Lift-Off, and Ropax, Roll-On Roll-Off Passenger. Though Roro vessels make up a small proportion of Merchant Navy fleet, there have been many accidents involving them, giving rise to far worse consequences. Car carriers can be easily recognized because they have strikingly high sidewalls, also called freeboard. The large surface area of the sidewalls poses a great challenge for the captains in the strong winds, as the ships risk drifting off course and can also capsize. Behind these sidewalls, the ships have several twin decks, so the vehicles can be loaded on top of each other. Ramps inside the ship take the vehicles from the lower to the higher twin decks. Some of these twin decks can also be adjusted in height, ensuring optimum use of cargo space. Due to the unique design requirements, construction costs for Roro vessels are significantly higher than that for conventional cargo vessels. Therefore, Roro ship cargo is measured in lane in meters or LIMs. Once they arrive at the destination port, the car lashing is removed and offloaded from the ship by shore drivers as per the cargo plan sequence. Loading and unloading of the cars is always done according to the cargo plan to avoid any issues with the stability of the ship. The Roro ship might not be the first vessel that comes to mind when you think of cargo ships or the merchant navy. But without them, it is impossible to think of driving luxury cars made overseas. Have you ever worked on a Roro ship? Let us know down in the comments below. And for more information, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching.